doctors often warn their patients that eating grapefruit can interfere with their medication. Now we're hearing that grapefruit is not the only food we need to worry about. Dr. Holly Phillips is here and joins us at the table. Hello, Dr. Phillips. Good morning, Gail. Let's start with the grapefruit because I learned the hard way that grapefruit and uh, Lipitor medication do not mix. You're absolutely right. That was a right. shock to me. Well, you know, we've known for a while that there's an interaction with a few different medicines, but there's this new review out that said it's not a few medicines. It's actually 85 medicines that grapefruit interacts with. And these are the big drugs, things we are, you know, everyone is prescribed, things for blood pressure, things for cholesterol, and even birth control pills. And the interactions are severe, from kidney failure to internal bleeding. The problem, problem is a lot bigger than we thought, and mm -hmm. it's a lot more common. What is it in the grapefruit? Really, the way that it works is, to, to be very, very simple about it, you take a pill and it goes into your intestine to be absorbed into your bloodstream. Your intestine has an enzyme in it that helps to limit the amount of medication that actually gets into your system. Grapefruit blocks that enzyme, so a lot more medication goes straight into your blood, and it's much more potent and dangerous. What are some of the other foods now that we need to be careful about? Because it's not just grapefruit, right? No, no. Actually, it turns out there is a compound in licorice, particularly black licorice, that interacts with blood pressure medicine. Our beloved chocolate, <laughs> it can block the effects of antidepressants and also ADD drugs like Ritalin and Adderall. Um, and even foods that are great for us, potassium rich foods, we're thinking about kale and collard and broccoli. If you take those with particular blood pressure medicines, it can raise your potassium levels to dangerous points. So there's really, it, it's a broad list of, of foods and medicines that interact. So what should you do? Go to your doctor and say, what medicines am I taking and what do I have to avoid or what? Yeah, Charlie, you should of course start with your doctor. But to be perfectly honest, a lot of these interactions are new and I didn't, I didn't know a lot of the, yeah. of the medicines on that list of 85. So your doctor has to research it, but really use your pharmacist. They're a great resource. Make sure you get all your meds from one pharmacy so they know exactly what you're taking, and then ask them specifically about food. No, I was so stunned by the grapefruit. I said to the, to the pharmacist, how am I supposed to know that? He goes, it's on the label. And it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, read the label, Gail. And, and 500 it other is, things are on the label. It is on the label. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Phillips.